Hi, my name is Harry. I'm British and today I'm going to teach you about the weather. So let's start with a very common way to describe the weather, which is it's raining cats and dogs. So this is a very old fashioned way to explain that it is raining very heavily. In reality, I haven't actually heard anyone use this expression. Maybe once or twice, you could say something like, it's raining cats and dogs out there. This would mean that it's raining very heavily. I would use this expression in a funny way because I know that this expression is taught around the world and it's almost become a stereotype about British people that we use this idiom to express weather. So I would say it's raining cats and dogs out there. But I know that I'm just making reference to this stereotype. A more common expression that you will hear in everyday life is it's tipping it down out there. So this means that it's raining very heavily. You can use it in sentences such as, we won't go to the beach today, it's tipping it down, or it's tipping it down out there. So you'll hear this uh, more commonly said. Another very common word to describe weather in the UK and London is drizzle. Drizzle is rain that you barely notice. Um, it can be very slow rain and I absolutely hate drizzle because if you don't take your umbrella and you're walking for an hour, by the end of it you'll be drenched but you really wouldn't have noticed the rain that much. So it's drizzle is slow rain. You can use it in sentences such as it's drizzling outside or it's starting to drizzle. If it is raining very heavily, you could say it's bucketing down. This is a way to describe uh, rain that can be very sudden and there's a lot of rain. If you think about a bucket full of water and you tip it over, all of the water comes out at once. So you could say it's bucketing down outside or it's absolutely bucketing down. Sometimes when you're walking and it's raining, you'll also have the wind blowing the wind into your face. When this happens, you can say it's raining sideways. So you could say it's so bad, it's raining sideways. So even if you have your umbrella, you will still get hit in the face with the rain because the wind is blowing the rain into you. If it's raining so much and your clothes are full of water, you could say, I got drenched. So drenched is a word to describe that you are soaked with rain. Maybe your shoes um, and your clothes are soaked with rain. That's why it's quite important to get a waterproof jacket. So when the rain has gone and we've gone into summer, early summer, and it starts to get warmer, you could quite simply say, it's quite warm outside. Or you could say, it's nice and balmy by the pool. This word balmy means it is pleasantly warm. When we go into sunny and hot weather, you could quite simply say it's nice and sunny or it's nice and hot. There are some really nice adjectives you can use to describe hot weather. You could say boiling, baking, roasting, blistering or scorching. Now, there are a few differences between these. For example, boiling if an easy way to think about this is if you are boiling some food in a pot with water, for example, pasta or an egg, it takes some time for the food to get cooked. It doesn't take a very long time, neither does it take a short time. So if I say it's boiling outside, I mean that it's hot. It can be uncomfortably hot. When we have baking, if you are baking a cake in the oven, um, it takes longer than if you are going to boil something. 
generally. So if you say it's baking outside or I'm baking, I'm going to go inside. So you've been out in the sun for a long time. So it feels like you have been baking like a cake. Then we have roasting. So if you're going to roast a chicken in the oven, it takes a long time for the chicken to get cooked. So if I say I'm roasting or it's roasting outside. So you've been out in the sun for a very long time. Then we have blistering and scorching. These are quite similar. If we think about blistering, if you touch something very hot and you get a blister, your skin would raise and you'd have a little bubble. So it's quite instant. So if I say it's blistering outside, it's short, intense heat, periods of heat. The same with scorching. Um, if you think about a barbecue and you have some meat on the grill, you have the black grill marks. So here we could say the meat, um, the meat has scorched. Again, it's a very intense heat. So if you're out in the sun, and it's, it's a scorcher. It's scorching outside. It's very, very hot. Out of these, personally, I would say boiling um, or roasting the most. Generally, boiling, it's boiling outside. We also have uh, humid. So if it's, it can be hot and it can be hu humid, which can be very uncomfortable. Um, so the heat can be nice, but because of the humidity, you can really struggle. Um, this is because the sweat has a harder time evaporating into the air, so it can feel quite uncomfortable unless you have um, a fan or air conditioning. With cold weather, you could quite simply say it's cold outside. You could also use the adjectives. You could also describe it with the words cool, crisp and chilly. So there are a few differences between these. If we look at cool, we could say it's a nice cool day. This is when the, the cold weather doesn't feel uncomfortable. So it feels refreshing and comfortable. We could say it's nice and cool in the park. With crisp, quite similar as well, where it's cold, but it feels refreshing. So you could be walking in the park and you could say it's, it feels nice and crisp. Chilly is a bit colder. And this is when you would need to put another layer of clothing on top, maybe a cardigan or a jumper. So it's, you could say it's chilly out there. So you don't really need a thick jacket but maybe a light jacket or a jumper. Cloudy. Now, in London, we get lots of cloud. We get lots of gray skies. And you will hear the word overcast a lot on the weather forecast. Overcast means gray skies. Could, we could say it's overcast outside. Other words to describe cloudy are gloomy and dull. So these also mean that the sky isn't blue, it's grey or dark grey um, and rain is usually associated with this. So I could say it looks overcast outside or it looks gloomy outside, I think it's going to rain. We have foggy, another word to describe foggy is misty or mist. I was driving yesterday and there was so much mist, it was difficult to see the road. So these are just some ways to describe the weather. Let me know about the weather in your country today. How would you describe the weather? And also, what kind of weather do you like? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.